Um, good morning, uh, my newly extended families, cousins, uncles, aunties, friends, and <laughs> every, good, everyone. And thank you for joining us nice and early this morning to hear uh, Senator Richard Di Natale speak about the very important issues. I would like to thank uh, cousin Richard, come along to, from Melbourne and bring the wet weather to Sydney. <laughs> I love that. At Affinity, we are committed to building bridges between different groups of uh, people within the community, regardless of their race, gender, sexuality, or religious beliefs, and advocating for the rights of people with disabilities to achieve a more accessible, more inclusive community. Today's morning conversation is testimony to do that. To open the doors of inclusion, I believe it is vital that we engage in the difficult conversations that challenge the norm and shine a light on different perspectives. Conversations like this morning's make me proud of the work that we do at Affinity. You all would have noticed a pudding served here this morning. This is at the back. This past September was the sacred month of Muharram, the first month of the Islamic calendar. The tenth day of the Muharram is the day of Ashura. Ashura is the Turkish name for nose pudding, which is the oldest dessert in the world. Nose pudding is a common, common throughout the Middle East and spans many cultures, traditions, and religions. The nose pudding symbolizes the diversity, friendship, and unity between people from all cultures. An important quality of nose pudding is that even though it contains many ingredients, when it, when it is cooked, every ingredient keeps its own identity and quality. The cooking process does not lead to the individual ingredients losing their identities. Rather, the end result is a great dessert that contains the qualities of each of the ingredients. This passage from my thesis, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to finish my PhD very soon in Monash. I think nose pudding has a lot of in common with multiculturalism. It makes sense today's rich in topics. I love that, in spite of all of us. The sweetest form of multiculturalism is when people from different backgrounds come together to form a harmonious environment, but at the same time, they keep their own identity at, uh, and qualities. I hope enjoying, enjoying this dessert has given you a renewed commitment to living in our multicultural society with peace, solidarity, and understanding. I strongly believe that today's world needs this commitment to hold multiculturalism as a base of peace. Thank you, cousin Catalina. And for facilitating today's talk, it has also been very rewarding to hear you facilitate the conversation. I'd like to invite uh, my friend, Jeremy Jones, director of the Australia, Israel and Jewish Affairs Council, to present a gift to Catalina, my cousin Catalina. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, cousin Catalina. I would like to thank Abdullah Aksu for sponsoring this event and our volunteers for their assistance today. I'd like to now call on Richard and Natalie, my cousin, to give a gift to my cousin Kathy Aher. <laughs> Please. Are these gifts from my uncle's shop? <laughs> <laughs> Before conclude, I, I know you are rushing, uh, Richard. I'd like to invite you to a few affinities upcoming events. And ne next Wednesday, is Sam Graham, my cousin and CEO, CEO of AFL New South West NACT, will present a lunchtime lecture on AFL and cross cultural understanding. In mid November, we will be holding a lunchtime panel on domestic violence and how to prevent it. The panel will inclu include Mo Borch, the CEO of Domestic Violence New South West, and Superintendent Julia Boone, who is the corporate sponsor for family and domestic violence from the New South West Police Force. The conversation will be facilitated by Pallavi Sinha, the appointed as appointed supporter of the joint federal and state multicultural campaign to stop domestic violence. In late November, we will continue our A plus youth lecture series with a talk from Madeline Goodsir, the president of Notre Dame University's Law Society. She will be talking about leadership and social change. In October, November, our affinity cooking class will continue. Information 
On all the events I have mentioned are available on our website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to speak to one of our staff after this event. Once again, thank you so much for attending today. I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Have a lovely day.